This is Marcus Bowles, President and CEO of Customized Minds. Thank you as always. Coming back here, get some more great information that's going to inspire and empower your life. You know we got another great topic, so let's dive straight into what we are talking about on today. Working in your favor. Did you know you had something working in your favor? More specifically, did you know the world is working in your favor? Whoa, hold on, Marcus. What are you talking about? How is the world working in my favor? You don't realize my situation. You don't realize my circumstance. You don't really realize what I've gone through in life, what I'm experiencing right now. How is the world working in my favor? Well, I'm going to give it to you like this. Have you played video games? Have you played some kind of game in your life? Whether it be a board game, whether it be a sporting activity, you play some type of game. With every game, what happens? There's ups and there's downs. There's good and there's bad. There's a positive momentum, something that sometimes every so often comes along and, and bumps you to where you have to keep going forward in order to complete the, the game, right? Every game has some type of experience in there. Every single game. And guess what? Your life is no different. See, the world is working in your favor. And you have to embrace everything that comes along with it. But to have the expectation that everything is going to go Right, perfect, all the time, every time, is horrible, horrible, horrible expectations to have. Because that is not how the game works. That is not how any game works that you have ever played, that you will play. Every game has conflict. It may have, some games may have limited conflict versus others, but every game has some conflict, some friction, in there that makes the game interesting but to think that everything is going to go right all the time every time are horrible expectations so i want to break that myth right now for you because again the world is working in your favor the world wants you to win because you have a purpose you have a passion you have a mission you have a vision of why you were here and we all really need you to get on board with that but we all need you to we all need you to understand that it's not going to be peaches and cream. It's not going to be sexy. It's not going to be fun. It's not going to be enjoyable all the time. It's going to be majority of the time if you have realistic expectations of when that friction, when that conflict, when it comes, that you accept it as part of the game. Now, I'm not saying accept it as to that is the end state as the end goal. But I am saying, understand it, identify with it, and realize that it's a part of the game. And you will be great. You will be well off. You may have to do some, some mental exercises. You may have to do some yoga. You may have to go to the gym. You may have to go to the balcony. Take a minute to regain your footing when that friction, when that experience comes. I'm not saying that you're not human, because I have to do it. But at the end of the day, when I unplug, I say, you know what? It's all a part of the game. And I have, I'm blessed with the next day to wake up, to beat that thing, to get back in front, to get back in the lead, to get my momentum back rolling, back going, regardless of what that friction was. And you have the power to do the same. All super achievers go through it. I'm not invisible. The president is not invisible. Whoever you look up to is not invisible. No human being that has achieved success in their own world, in their own space, in their own mind, has not experienced this. And will continue to do so until they lay six feet under. It's a part of the game. You don't get the good with the bad, without the bad. You get both. You just want more good than bad. There you have it. It's simple. You have exactly what you say now. If you believe it now, it's yours to have right now today. 
and only you can give that power and authority away. The power after death is in the tongue, more important than the mind, but first, you gotta believe in your heart. You gotta believe in yourself. Take care, share it, apply it, and I'll see you back here on the next one.